Saga Frontier has had a very interesting development cycle that's led to a lot of cuts, unfinished assets, updates, and changes. With that being the case, the game's world has had many aspects still shrouded in mystery to this day, in-game and in real life, which has led to much speculation about the game's story, lore, world, and development. So here are 10 less known facts about the game you probably didn't know. Number 1. Acelus' story came from a dream. Acelus' story director Miwa Shoda said, Acelus' story is based on a dream I had a long time ago and never forgot. In that dream, I was hit by a carriage and on the brink of death when someone alighted from a carriage and saved my life by giving me their blood. This was used as the basis for the half-mystic storyline as we all know from the beginning of Acelus' story, when Orluge hits her with a carriage while she's driving some books from her aunt's store in Shrike. Number 2. Unused Areas Saga Frontier is notorious for being a bit of an incomplete game. Although it wasn't for lack of trying, some of the areas ended up on the cutting room floor such as segments from Luminous and Ombul, different parts of Shingro Castle, Scrap, the tunnel system from Despair, and additional areas that can be accessed if hacked. But strange of all, the Magic Kingdom has three different angel statue locations, all titled Mori. Along with that, the Magic Kingdom also has Academy Balcony maps that were intended for a newborn infant treatment facility, no doubt for Blue's story. There's also a ship that is speculated to be Mondo's, and even a grocery store. Number 3. The connection between Rey and Ki Lin. As many players know, in order to acquire space magic, one must get access from Rey and Devon. But why Rey? Well, Akito Shi Kawazu answered this in an interview stating despite the fact that she looks and speaks like an adult, Rey is actually around 10 to 12 years old given her rebirth. And given we know Keelan uses his paradise to look after children who wish to run away, as well as orphans, he's likely helped her evade Orluge over the years, so it makes perfect sense why him and Rey would look out for one another. Although it's confirmed in Romancing Saga Re-Universe, that Keelan is killed by someone seeking to obtain the gift of space magic, which is a direct nod to Blue's storyline. So despite their friendship, Rey might have inadvertently gotten her friend killed. Number 4. What is Cube? So by the end of Amelia's scenario, we realize Cube isn't hidden in the Forgotten Church, but instead, an interview with the game's director reveals that it's actually hidden on Tartaros from T260G's story. Cube is a device that emits mass amounts of energy and a power source for RB3. In an early game development, Cube would be an unattainable item that would let you use the region map freely. Number 5. Angels in Hell One of the most beautiful and iconic areas in Saga Frontier is Hell, but why is this heaven filled with demons? The lore behind this is, in ancient times, the Magic Kingdom used the rings from Ricky's quest in an attempt to create heaven. However, given the rings were evil, they created a hell with the appearance of heaven. Hell was then sealed away, but over time the seal weakened and the only one who could stop it was a magician powerful enough to use all manners of magic. Which brings us to number 6, Rouge received orders to kill Blue. While Blue is one of our main protagonists, Rouge's story runs parallel to Blue's but has some key differences. While Blue's story starts in the Magic Kingdom with him receiving orders to kill his brother, Rouge is also in the Magic Kingdom receiving the same orders at a separate institution. The two schools that kept them separate are called the Overt Academy and the Covert Academy. And despite being one of the main protagonists and having a natural affinity for light magic, Blue is canonically the evil twin. And while having a natural affinity for dark magic, it's actually Rouge who is the good twin. We see this demonstrated by how friendly and willing Rouge is to join the party, given the player selects a human character. While Blue is cold and ruthless, leaving behind Fei An and Tanzer after he's acquired the rune and also killing Kilin for space magic, which destroys the children's paradise he rules over. And in contrast to Rouge, Blue doesn't join any of the original seven protagonists on their journey, even in one moment outright refusing to join Red's team because his name is a variation of Rouge. Canonically, Rouge emerges victoriously from the twins' duel as the good twin, absorbing Blue inside him and all of his magic with it. He also revives Time Lord, learns the truth of their origins, and also goes on to defeat the Monarch of Hell while the Abyss is sealed away by the Magic Kingdom. Number 7. Yuria and Red's Scrapped Love System 
Remember Yuria from Red Story? During development, the two were initially going to have a program in the game that calculates their relationship points based on players' actions, and the total would have played out in the ending, but ultimately, it was scrapped. Number 8. Initial Designs Initially, some of the characters were imagined differently from how we know them now. A few notable examples are Masartham having legs instead of a mermaid tail, Ray taking on more of a Princess White Rose appearance, Ricky looking more like a young adult rather than a child, Joker taking on more of a Harlequin appearance, and Princess Lion looking drastically different, amongst so many more that started off very differently from how we know them now. Number 9, the character selection screen. The character selection screen underwent a few different variations and changes, initially including Fuse, and by the time of the remaster's release, Fuse was incorporated back in, but in a new spot on the selection screen. And before we reveal our top pick, it would mean a lot to us here at the channel if you would hit that like button and even subscribe if you're enjoying our content. It helps with the algorithm and allows this video to reach more people. Plus, it lets me know if this content is worth making. Alright, number 10, the ninth protagonist. No, we are not talking about Rouge. Before the game's remaster, the game's director, Kawazu, has gone on record stating Saga Frontier was originally supposed to have nine protagonists, and unfortunately, Fuge was one of the characters left out. The only rumored details we know about this mysterious protagonist is that she's a spirit medium's daughter and human. Her story would revolve around an inheritance amongst her family of grandmother, father, mother, and three sisters, and they would go on to search for their ancestors' family treasure. Here, we can see in her concept art gives us a rough idea of what she would have looked like and also reveals her name, Itako. And there you have it. There are 10 unique facts about Saga Frontier that you probably didn't know. It took a lot of research and digging to find things most players wouldn't know. So let us know in the comment section below which you found to be most interesting and if you know any fun Saga Frontier facts. I love to make more videos on the Saga series, so let me know in the comment section below if that's something you're interested in seeing more of. Me Jinx, signing out.